Good morning. It's uh, it's pretty early. It's like 7 a.m. I need a haircut so bad. Uh, I'm waiting on the cable guy so we can get some entertainment going on. And the internet, you know, the internet would be nice since these uploads are taking hours to upload via my hotspot. That's the plan this morning, and then I got this Fitbit. You guys saw? It's on my, I can't. I'm wearing a sweater. You can't see this Fitbit. I got it because my friend Sab, who works at the shop, had a Fitbit, and I was interested. But now I think this thing's too bulky, and I really don't love it. So I'm going to go get an Apple Watch and see what I like better. I honestly never thought I'd get a smartwatch ever in my life, but I don't know. Things change, I guess. That's the plan so far this morning, and um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. Obviously, I'm gonna try and get this house straight, but I'm really not looking forward to having to go get more shelves. So I really don't wanna build those. I don't wanna do this. Nah. See what happens today. Yeah, you give me full bag. Kilo, kilo okay, perfect. Yeah, I definitely need it for sure. Yeah. I don't know why, just I was talking, I was informed with my supervisor. Uh -huh. He told me, for example, our office warehouse doesn't supply this equipment. Okay. I'll we'll give you a call to Comcast, explain the situation, what the, our warehouse doesn't supply this, and just uh, some another probably take, you'll come. With a different type of modem and okay. stuff. Okay. You're gonna call them or I need to call them? I don't know. Okay, them. cool. Yeah, I need them to come today too. Yeah, so if wait. you want, I can just leave it for now. This this one. That's fine to leave it for now, but I still yeah, yeah. I need them to I need you yeah, to, I they need to come today because yeah. I've been waiting like six days for this, so mm -hmm. it's kinda of Comcast's fault, not mine. Currently, you can see him out there. Cable guy. He's been here for like an hour and he doesn't have the right modem. They don't even carry the modem. So now I have to wait for a completely, I guess, different person. I, I, I have no idea what's going on. Not really stoked though, I know that. The saga continues. These mother fuckers. So, Cable Guy has been here since 8 a.m. It is now 11, still no internet, still no cable. Well, it works, but it's super slow. I guess the cable works, but well, the TV's gone. I gotta buy another TV because that one's in the other room now. But anyway, I'm just waiting again for another technician with a 12 to 4 window to see if they can actually hook up the internet that I'm paying for. This is, rid this is ridiculous. This is gonna be an all day event. I had plans to go do stuff today. I was gonna go to the shop. I was gonna go and, you know, just handle things in my life. That doesn't seem to be working. I don't even think I'm gonna make it to the Apple store today because I gotta sit around here all day. I guess it just depends on what time. This fool gets here. All right, I'll keep you updated with my frustrating ass day. So, hope you're having a good one. Sure, we have the right account information. Which would you like to do? Speak with an agent or continue in the automated system? Speak with an agent? Jesus fucking Christ. And how can I help you? Uh, yeah, I had an installation this morning and the guy brought none of the right equipment. So now I'm supposedly waiting on another person to show up from one to three. First, I'm trying to confirm that that's actually happening. And two, I'm trying to make sure I don't get charged for this installation since this is now taking up my entire day. I can have technician on today again, three to five, that be okay? No, 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 There's supposed to be one scheduled right now from one to three. It's supposed to be already scheduled. Yes, it's here on file. Well, what the fuck does that mean? Like, is there someone coming or not? Because now you're trying to schedule me from three to five. Like, I, why is this so difficult? Yeah, that's fine. I, th that's great. When the, when is he gonna be here? I just had someone in my house for three hours for no reason. So now I need to know when this other person is gonna be here, and I need to make sure I'm not getting charged for this installation because you guys are wasting my time. Okay. Thank you. It's ridiculous. All I can buy. So, we got this new thing called Amazon Prime now, which I didn't even know that we had. Because I was stuck here all day, I wanted to go ahead and just buy another TV and have it delivered, but you can't even get a TV. All I can get is this projector. Can't get a television. Amazon Prime now. So I can't get a TV. I can't go get my screen replaced today. I can't 
Go get an Apple Watch. I can't go to the shop, but I can wait for the cable guy. I'm not happy today. I did, however, find these, so I can wear these today. All right, sneaker boys, let's go. So I just got a text that the cable guy is now here again. Let's just hope that this all works out now. Let's hope that he has the right equipment for the job. Gotta have the right equipment for the job. Yeah, I just got a text 20 minutes ago saying that my technician was here, my second technician of the day, and there's no technician here. So I need to figure out what's yeah, going on. Right. Yeah, there's nobody here. I just went down to the lobby. There's no one there either. So frustrating. Say what now? Uh, they're trying to reach out to the technician right now. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. I hate you Comcast. I hate you so, so much. Don't ask me about Fios, I can't get it here. Hello? Hi, is this Matt Bieber? This is. Hey, this is Ellery calling from downstairs. Um, I have Comcast here. Okay. I'm home by June. Yeah. I'm... Just send them up. Oh yeah, I've been waiting on them all day. <laughs> all right, cool. Sounds good. All right. All right. Thank Bye. you. It is now 3.15 p.m. and we have the internet. Finally, it's done. Oh, thank God. So annoyed. So now, <laughs> today's been so frustrating. Um, now, I am trying to review these Pure Boosts for you guys and my battery for my microphone is dead. Now I gotta walk to the store and go get some AA batteries. Then I'll be back. Then we'll review these shoes. And then I'm just gonna go to sleep. Like today's just, <laughs> today's not my day. It's not a bad day. It's just been frustrating. And uh, cool, I'll be back. So today I basically was cooped up inside all day. It's like almost five o'clock. Well, that's not true. <sighs> It's 4.30, well I guess it's almost five. So a really frustrating day. Not just the stuff that, with the cable, just in general. There's been like a, a vibe, frustrating vibe today. So uh, glad that's over. I didn't really get shit done that I needed to get done. But that's okay. I did find the Sneaker Boy Wish ATL Pure Boost though, and I've been wearing them all day. This is what the box that I couldn't find looks like. These have been out for like two months now. Uh, I've, they've been waiting on me here. I just, obviously I wasn't home ugh, to talk about them or wear them or anything like that. So first things first, there's already comments everywhere saying that you didn't think that I fucked with the Pure Boost. Well, that means that you're not paying attention because I have Y3 Pure Boost, per Y3 Pure Boost. Uh, I have the Livestock Pure Boost. Pretty sure I have some other Pure Boosts in there too. I can't remember, but I got quite a few pairs, like five or six, so fake news. But yeah, so this is the Y3 Wish ATL. <laughs> I said Y3. This is the Wish ATL Sneaker Boy collab that came out. These are in the wrong hands. So I've been wearing these all day. This is what the shoe looks like. So off the jump, I've been pretty vocal on social media about how I don't like 
this little air pocket. This was the main thing that turned me off from the other Pure Boost that dropped. Um, I still don't like it, it's not my favorite. I think it's been toned down on this model. I don't know if it's just because it's an all white model that it blends in better. I don't know if it's like the more open mesh look to it, like the sportier look, I don't know what it is. Some people will say it's because of my hype beast, but I do, this one doesn't bother me as much as some of the other ones, you really just can't even see it. Like all Pure Boost that I've reviewed before, uh, it has more of a teardrop shape on the boost. It's a lot like a Yeezy. Honestly, walking around in these today, I feel like people thought I was wearing fake Yeezys because <laughs> kids kept looking at me and then looking away or whatever. So yeah, I don't know. They definitely have like a, a white Yeezy vibe for sure. It's a very similar shoe, but not really the same fit. It doesn't feel like a Yeezy. It doesn't feel like an Ultra Boost. Uh, this upper is super thin. It's super nice. Um, this prime knit on this upper is, is, is great. I really like it. It's just like a little more movable. It's a little thinner. It doesn't have like, it's not thin like an NMD and stretchy, but it's just nice and comfortable. It's nice and flexy. The boost on this has a little curvature to it. It's a lot like the NMD R2, how it kind of has a slope for your foot. It's not flat like an Ultra Boost or, you know, like a NMD R1. So that is one of the things about Pure Boost that people find more comfortable, I think. Uh, leather hits all over the shoe. There's leather on the inside, insole is leather. But yeah, it's nice little leather hits, nice little touch to the shoe. The three stripes on this is pretty interesting. It's like mesh, like, you know, like a swimming net basically, or a fisher swimming net. Do people go swimming in nets? Well, they probably do. Fishing net, um, because this shoe is inspired by a poisonous jellyfish that glows in the dark you can find in Australia, which is the same place you can find Sneaker Boy. And then Wish ATL, right down the street, has an aquarium that has a very similar jellyfish in it. So the collab makes sense. It's cool. I like stuff like that. I like it when things make sense. Like I said, white prime knit. Uh, the one thing that I really don't like about this shoe, and the pictures fooled me, I thought they took it out for this shoe for some reason, is the overlapping like burrito I don't know tone. I don't I don't like this. I don't like all this extra that you can like pull out and unfold and the way the upper is constructed. I mean, I see why it's needed because of the way the upper is constructed. So the upper looks like it, you know, it stitches across and it basically just folds over itself. So I can understand from a design standpoint like why it does that and it makes complete total perfect sense. No diss there. It's just not my favorite look. Uh, consortium hole punch. This one says Wish. This one says Sneaker Boy. Well, it doesn't say Sneaker Boy, but it's got a Sneaker Boy logo. On. Consortium, consortium insole. You can even see how open the ankle is. So for these, true to size is perfect for me. Some people might want a half down because there's really not a lot in there. It's still perfect. I don't mind, and I, I wouldn't want a smaller size. The, the fit in the toes does kind of narrow out just a little bit. White laces, white rope laces. You got white leather lace eyelets. Uh, the bottom of the shoe, I really like, this has been worn obviously, but I really like the clear, this sole is jelly-like. You know, it's like jelly, it's clear and it's jelly and it glows in the dark, just like the entire shoe. So this shoe, the real draw point of the shoe, because let's face it, it's just a triple, another triple white shoe with the only real feature is the netting for the three stripes. The one big draw to the shoe is that it glows in the dark. And it glows like a mother. It doesn't like stay supercharged. I mean, you can leave it out in the sun. Basically, if you walked into a strip club with this shoe on, it would glow. But by the time you left, probably, it probably wasn't glowing anymore. That's just how I see. But they're not bad, it's cool. But that's really the main point to the shoe. Uh, the whole collab is kind of based around the glowing just because of the jellyfish and all of the you know, the storyline of the shoe. Pretty much it, man. I mean, like, the shoe is really comfortable. Pure Boost is nothing like Ultra Boost to me. I do think that the Pure Boost is comfortable. I think sitting on this, like, flatter, more, like, kind of stretched out boost palette, if you will, is really, really nice. And then the way the upper hugs your foot on here is really, really nice. But it doesn't have the same support as an Ultra Boost. Ultra Boost is still king the way that it hugs your foot. The upper is just... The way it hugs is everything, because hugs are nice. And then the one thing about this, I did ask someone at Adidas, I was like, why do they have this thing on the side? Why is this on the heel? What, what, what is, why, why? And they told me that this was supposed to act like a heel cup, that this is supposed to add support, uh, much like the heel cup of the Ultra Boost. I don't know, I don't design shoes for a living. It's still not my favorite part. Again, with this shoe, I don't think it really makes that big of a difference, but I do, I do like it without, so. Uh, but yeah, these came out a while ago. I don't know how available they are. I don't know what resell is on them right now. No idea really, but I do like the shoe a lot. It's another triple white shoe that we can just run into the ground that also happens 
to glow in the dark. When you look at the upper, you can even see kind of, you might not be able to see it here, but it's kind of the yellowish tint for the glow. But yeah, this is the uh, Sneaker Boy Wish ATL collab, Pure Boost, SE Sneaker Exchange, Consortium Tour. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. That's the shoe. See you guys later. Also, before someone says, because I used to always talk shit about shoes that the soles glow. I still don't like shoes where just the soles glow. I still don't like it. Whole shoe glows, fine. Just one part of it glows, I'm not really liking it that much. Will I eat my words one day? Probably. So the other thing I'm gonna talk about um, that you may or may not have seen on Instagram is that I reserved a puppy. Some people have left these weird comments about like it's too soon or whatever, whatever, because of Doobie, but um, it's not like, you know, things in life are this way. You know, like everyone breathing right now knows that one day we're gonna die. Uh, same thing with animals, unfortunately. Same thing with, with everything. I can't picture my life without a dog. I've had a dog pretty much from the time I was born until two months ago. Um, so yeah, just for me personally, I cannot, cannot picture living my day-to-day -day life without an English Bulldog around. So I reserved a puppy. He's in Florida. I'm going to either go get him from Florida or there's someone that's going to just drive him out to me. He's not going to fly by himself. I'm just trying to figure out what the best thing is with my schedule. Uh, there's a picture of him. I'll put a picture up of him right there. But yeah, picture of him. That's him as a puppy. He's like 10 and a half weeks old right now. So he's, you know, he's, he's getting big. But um, yeah, we're going to get him. I'm really, really excited. I'm also really nervous because I haven't had to train a puppy in a long time. Hopefully this is not just ridiculous. I'm sure it'll be funny. I really can't wait to see what kind of uh, ridiculousness happens with the dog. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. It should be cool. I have no idea what I'm going to name him. I'm thinking about naming him Omar. Yeah, I'm still deciding. I'll probably wait till I meet him to decide, decide. But uh, yeah, that's what's going on. It's another life thing that's going on that I haven't really talked about on the vlog. Other than that, it's uh, Denver pop-up on the 25th. If you're in Denver, come out to the shop. We're going to have a huge pop-up. Probably going to like do food and drinks and all kinds of stuff. No one's Sager. We're probably going to do food and drinks and all kinds of stuff. And then, yeah, Dallas Sneaker Con, LA Sneaker Con. Other than that, just business as usual. Going to start taking tattoo appointments again soon and just working on art bangs and copping more boost. So that's what's up. See you guys tomorrow.